That's right. It's free t-shirt time again. Free t-shirt time again. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I've got some issues here. I've got... I'm at the point. I know I would help that guy do his, his what you call, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get this across real quick. I'm at the point where I've only got like four or five or maybe six spaces left across all the garages. And they all they're all pretty much chock full. I'm gonna have to start thinking about what to get rid of. I mean obviously these cars here have been significant over the years. I'm not getting rid of those. This one I mean, the Duke of Death, it was such a big deal when it was finally available in-game. I'd hardly like to give that one up. I try to keep one in every garage, just in case you need something a little bulletproof. This very rare car, of course, you have to use, there's a specific way of getting this one. You have to go to the, Sel the Velma and Louise uh, homage scene and then shoot them before they drive the car off the cliff. Not getting rid of my uh, Slogan GT, my rally car. So the, none of this is, this is all off the table. So we come out of Del Perro. By the way, again, one of the reasons that parking is becoming a thing is I just won another Ocelot Swinger. I'm trying to keep the ones I win as visually identical to uh, to what they were on the podium, so it's obvious it was a podium car. It's... Let's go into Office Garage. Let's do them in order. Office Garage 1. Not a lot's going to be coming out of Office Garage 1, I'll be honest. There's a reason it's Office Garage 1. You can talk about Shotaro's, another dude, my, all my armored, my main armored vehicles are here. The Kuntosh, nope, that's not going anywhere. The the Javelin, no, 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 no. This is, that's, that's, that's going to be one of my main cars to drive for a while. Let's go upstairs a little bit. Actually, you know what, we don't need to walk. Let's just use... The tools that are at hand we will consider so we got the deviant the torero these cars here i'm gonna repaint the shotaro that paint scheme still not working for me my um my three uh homages to my dad's mach one homage to my mom's gto from back in the day my grandfather's impala my car from back in high school that my grandfather used to let me drive my brother-in-law's blank uh Sonata that you know went over 400,000 miles and it actually is featured in a lot of my videos and my other channels because that was I used that a clip of me driving that car for a minute for an end bump for a long time. You're talking that just got that clique that not getting rid of that. The Dream Car Dukes. So if you've seen one of my other uh, videos on Dream Cars, that's in there's a whole story on that. Uh, the Vis Viserys, that was based on a car that used to be in my neighborhood. This is based on my Uncle Bill's car for a certain extent. And I have another car that will you know, stack up nicely with that too. Similar kind of deal. Gotta have a, Ro a Romero hearse here. I mean, you know, and that's painted in the, the livery or livery as you would some would call it. The livery of the Jacob Davis Funeral Home, which is, you know, the family funeral home of a good friend of mine. This is uh, my... Uh, an homage to my current minivan. You have a, a, a Windstar that is right now, as we speak, on the lifts, getting a transmission. This is an homage to the van that we left in Florida after the uh, the engine froze up because it doesn't like doesn't like those plastic intake manifolds. So there's nothing really here that we're going to get rid of. This is this one's just chock full of stuff. That's, we have too much sentimental value here. So let's look at. Garage dos. Garage two here. Real quick, let's hop over into the blue circle. Alright, we do have a couple spots here, so that's helpful. We have a couple spots in the garage. We have the scramjet, not selling that. Vigilante, oppressor, deluxo, obviously not. Futo. Now that Futo that's um Oh, what the heck is the name of the uh the Tokyo Drift esque skyline thing? Oh, I know it. Like I know, it, but I've never seen it, but I know, I know, I do know what it is. It's that famous Japanese. Anyway, we'll get back to it. But that's a that's a TV show one. Then you got the the Bohemian Rhapsody car. We got the the 
the another 48 hours car, the uh, family truckster, the General Lee, the mystery machine, da -da -da -da, the gang burrito from uh, the A-Team. And then all my customs. You got the Easter the, the Easter special, the St. Patty's Day special, the Valentine's Day special, the Christmas special. One of the Halloween specials. The other one's down inside in the other garage with all the older looking cars, which we'll get to that in a little while. Not getting rid of that. Not getting rid of Tommy Versetti's uh, Sabre Turbo. So, yeah, nothing we're getting rid of here. That's not, that's not even a thing. But then we come to the Top Gear Grand Tour Garage. These are vehicles that I, I put in here because they were featured or at least seem similarly like cars and they were in Top Gear. So, some of these we're keeping for sure, but not all of them. Okay, let's look at this. The Chebarek, obviously we're keeping that one. Turismo R, you gotta have a Turismo R, you gotta have a Turismo Classic in this game. Zentorno, obviously. Super Diamond. Oh, I like the Super Diamond. Do I really drive it all that much? Is it really something that I'm really going to want for a long time? Super Diamond, I think, is is on the questionable page. That might disappear. The Fagio Mod? No, no, that's too significant. That was uh, from the Vietnam special. I've got that dialed in almost perfectly as far as things. The Warner? Now, the Warner was just kind of a car that would fit in the garage. It'd be the kind of style of something you'd see in one of those shows. Uh, I'd probably gonna keep the Warner because I found a matchbox that's exactly the same color and exactly the same style. Then you got the three Dominators. Now the three Dominators were were were, were done up, and let's let's go take a look at those. We get we're gonna have to walk up on these. First of all, let's take a, a closer look up here. Again, the diamond. I like the color. Eh, I don't know if I can keep it. Not when there's things like you know, the Kruger that I need. Uh, space for now you got this card now this is um this gauntlet represents the uh, the hellcat that uh richard hammond drove across italy in the first season of the grand tour and it's it's a nice car it definitely very closely represents that car in that show but you know i wasn't 100 percent fond of that show because i thought they made richard out to be too much of a yam bag. He, they really, you know, the, the writing was they decided that they're going to give these guys that season, they're give them a specific character trait, and they just made him like the token goofy American of the bunch, and he's not American or goofy in real life. It's Americans aren't that real goofy. I'm not goofy. Well, I mean, I'm only goofy when I'm intentionally goofy. I'm not unintentionally goofy. So this one, that might go. Um, now, the neon, I just got the neon, and I'm, that's going to stay here. That's I, If they haven't featured this in one of the shows as of yet, but yeah, they have, then they will. But it's, um, I think you can hear my son cooking in the kitchen, but we'll, we'll work through this. Now, the, the, um, the T20, the McLaren P1 done in the colors from that opening show, yeah, we gotta keep that. No question about it. We'll probably repark things and put this next to the Turismo, because those were the thing, and maybe we'll eventually get a P11 and put them all three together, and that will be the homage to the first show. Because these cars, and I mean, I'm really kind of proud how well I match the wheels and the style of each car to to what they what they were. And, I mean, this car I've actually replaced twice. I, I, I had that blown up on me. I didn't realize I didn't have insurance on it because it was stolen. And uh, didn't realize you had to buy it. I thought if you got it parked in, you know, the garage, it, you were all set. But you didn't. You got that. You'll notice that they've each got different wings on them. That were very close to, uh, you know, what the, what they were. And this is the one. This was, of course, was Mays. The blue one was Clarkson's. The red one was Hammond's. Each had their own style to them. But they're, the end result of the day, they're just dominators. And they're never going to be useful for much. They're not going to win any races. They're not going to... No, it's just... I'm, so these three are probably the most certain to go on the block. Warner, we're probably going to keep. Let's go upstairs while we're here. Doobie 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 doo 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 doo. The buggies. Now the buggies. Man, it's going to be heartbreaking to get rid of the buggies because that was a, that was truly an excellent episode. And one of my favorites. They think they did a great job with that. Maybe. I mean, oh man, I got the wheels matched up on these pretty good. 
they're not perfect. I mean, these were more heavily customized than that. But this really does capture, I think, the vibe of all three of them. I don't know. Maybe if I can keep the buggies, I will. If not, well, then. If I was going to keep one, which one? I mean, you can't even pick. They all had such personality to them. I don't know. This one, this is just a rare card that's, you know, you have to go through a specific kind of exercise to get. So I'm not getting rid of that one. Although I, I think it does fit in the in the top care sense of things. This one, it's, again, there's you have to have some bright green Lambos in there, don't you? It's just a thing. Six by six, obviously. That was an epic Richard Hammond's uh, deal when they took the real version of this across, you know, the sands of the deserts in the Middle East. I can't remember the exact make and model of the uh, the vehicle that Richard Hammond was driving through Johannesburg. I, and I mean driving through Johannesburg, crashing through walls and things. I think it was Johannesburg. I haven't seen that episode in a while, but it's definitely, you know, it, it is... A memory of it is kept in this vehicle here, this red insurgent that uh, definitely has a lot of the qualities of, of what he was driving in that episode. So I think the ones we're looking at here, we have a possibility of six going and three definite. So I think seven, really. So there's a lot that we that to be gained from selling these some of these cars here. It's already daytime. Wow. We hop in this lucky car here. What's going on? Let's give us the right... I do think they've improved the handling on these. It feels a lot better than the the British painted one I was driving on the last time. Which I'm sure that one feels better now too, that they've changed the handling on these things a little bit. I'm sure it's not as good as it might be on say, oh I don't know, 5M, but... Let's see, basement level two, I think, starts the cars. Now, these are my spy cars. See, there's my, my British Swinger. I have the Porsche, that's the Black Beauty, that's uh, an homage to my buddy Ed's car. I've got my Uncle Butch's Crossfire here, God rest him. I've got the Bruffy 1322 Hateful Machine. We've got, you know, an actual James Bond DB7 here. There's a James Bond car, but this is painted. This could go into the, we could move this into the Top Gear realm of things, although it is a, uh, a James Bond kind of spy car. This was painted the way the one that James May had during the fateful Argentinian trip. Stromberg, not getting rid of that. Not getting rid of this. That's another Bond car. This, of course, is my new Cheetah. This is the uh, the Sunny Crockett uh, Testarossa. That's how that's supposed to be set up. These two, Austin Powers. Not getting rid of any of these. Okay, I'm not going to get rid of this beautiful Hermes. No, it's not doing that. That's just too much of a keeper. But these 57s, I mean, they're beautiful. And I like them. But, I mean, the Tornados here are really just such a slow car and for much as I like them, and I like the fact that they kind of go with the whole vibe of this garage, they're definitely, you know, we could give these up. Yeah, I'll just give one up. I don't know. Get rid of the turquoise convertible and keep the hard. It's painful, but like at some point I'm going to have to do something to where I have something else here. I might have to, you know, I'll unload both of them. I don't know, because I'm going to need room. Same with the uh, with these cars here. I mean, I do. I love this. Is I think is my original one. I can't remember. Yeah, because my original one was, I believe, a hard to the gray one. I'd have to go back and I repainted it something bright and happy. And then you got the pink one. The pink is just a pink Thunderbird. How can you not like a pink Thunderbird? It's just. Uh, I have. I think I might have a tougher time getting rid of the Thunderbirds than I do the Chevys. Yeah, I'll just get rid of the turquoise one. The turquoise convertible. Keep the Chevy hardtop. And keep the, the two Thunderbirds. My original Voodoo. Voodoo Custom. That thing has been repainted a number of times. I don't know that I could get rid of that one. The Hot Knife. 
Yeah, we could do the hot knife. I mean, we could get rid of the hot knife if we need space. You can always get another one. They're not expensive. It's, it would be easy to remanufacture this. You can't paint it so it's a proper ZZ Top Eliminator because of the way the, the, the secondaries line up. So we could give that. That's a possible thing that could go away. Now this one, this is my um, got to get paid hot rod. That's going to stay. I'm, I'm, I'm really fond of that one. Same with this one. This is the same car, believe it or not. There's just that much customization between the two. And I'm going to keep that one. Got to keep my Frankenstanger just for the engine noise alone. I got to have two of those. One in the classic colorations and one in this black. And this is very much like a Hot Wheels car I used to have as a kid. And like I said, we're going to keep that. So some of these, some of those might be going. Let's go down a level. Now here. A lot of these cars were just, there were sales going on. Like the Joker, I can't imagine getting rid of the Joker. That's just too wild. This brown one, though, it's nice. I mean, but am I really ever going to use it? This brown Roosevelt... Or this very romancy rose. One of them's a one of them's a plain Roosevelt. One's a Valor. I think this. I think the one with the custom wheels, the red one's the Valor. I'm pretty sure now that I've bought them once, they're not any kind of time limitations on when you can get them. So maybe I would end up losing both of those, keeping the uh, keeping the Joker mobile as my lone Roosevelt. Now this one, this uh. This Sunrise Express here, this uh, this Orange Juice Goodness set of wheels here. This is just like a car that I saw on my way to North Carolina the one time. And drove down, saw this in a uh, in a parking lot and said, Hey, you know what? I can have this car. At least virtually. And you got, you know, the Lemonade vehicle. I got that one for free. This is like, I think, I think it might have been my first Lemonade car. Can't get rid of that one. Now this one, you could tell that the, the tires on center, this was one that I made up out in frustration of trying to get a chrome and or gold dubsta, and I'm just going to keep this one for the memories. I think I, I think I grabbed this one while trying to get that one getting it to spawn, but we've got this one now. I'm going to keep that. Um, obviously, I'm keeping my Devastate. That's one of my main racers. Keeping my Nero. That's an excellent car to drive, and I really do, really do like it. I've debated repainting it repainting the gold orange so it could be like the top speed car the one that like, just was it 304 miles an hour or something like that might redo that one change the gold over although I think the gold was in a uh, gold and black was a top gear car too I think Chris Harris was driving one of those around my FMJ I love my FMJ it just I like the way it feels it's a little bit different than everything else and you know again this is another top gear car you know, the FM, this, a red FMJ is what uh, Jeremy Clarkson drove uh, through my own state, past my own towns, getting into. You didn't see much except the Interstate, you know, 80 uh, signs. Maybe, but you know, he did that. That car actually did come through Pennsylvania. So, and of course, I cannot, cannot get rid of the Independence Day Special. That's one of my favorite cars. It's really, I like cruising in this. It looks just fantastic. So, but you can see there's definitely room for room. There's there's things we can do here. Um, we can take a look at the other garages. This thing's still a little bouncy and floaty at times. It's not quite... See how that, that car slowed down? It just tried to make sure... See, this car would be a lot better if it didn't do that. Hey, I'm just trying to show how I match your shirt there. You know, I just... So it still definitely has some advanced handling features. We'll call it advanced handling features. Wee woo. Definitely not the, the most stable uh, race thing going, but eh. Okay, now these are kind of my more mundane cars that I've kind of collected over the years to some extent. The Chrome Stratum, gotta keep the Chrome Stratum. I mean, it's just, it's a Stratum. How can you do the Stratum Strat without the Stratum? You just can't. This Oracle, I like the Oracle. I forget there was a story to this. I could, somehow this got me out of trouble somewhere on the line, but in the end result, it is just an Oracle. You know, we have to think about that. This FU2, kind of have this in the same paint scheme at least 
as my Ford Taurus, which I don't think there's a Taurus in the game, but it has kind of, you squint, it's roundy, and it's not at all like my Taurus, but it still reminds me of it. I might keep that one. Um, my Issies, they all have a backstory to them where I got them very early in the game and did different things with them there. So I'll, I'll probably keep, I got this, I know I got another Issy somewhere else. These two cars, obviously they were free for a day, keeping both of those, because why not? Even though this is kind of redundant with the lemonade vehicle, there's just, they're, you know, they're 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 too hard to get back. Like if I was to, to try and re, you know replace these, you're looking at millions. So we're not do, we're not doing that. This is one of my original cars. My Ubermach Zion, and this is my main coupe racer. Not that anybody races coupes. Now, this puppy. I do like it. I mean, I love the style on it. It's my Black Knight going to the beach, cruising thing. But it is, oh man, it is slow. It's one of the most painful things to drive. It's pretty to look at. I don't think I repainted this at all. I think I got this as is. Found it on the street. And I'd be hard pressed to get rid of it just for the style. This is kind of like... If, if I was to set this up so that I was spawning in this garage, I would have spent the night inside here. I would have spent in the back, snuggled up. So I don't know how I'll get rid of the van. So the only thing I might take out of this one is probably the, the Oracle. But not just yet. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna consider things. Almost collided with that big leading woman. Was it a bagel or was it a donut? I really didn't get a chance to look. Now looking here, again, I, I got I know I got some stunts with this SE, so I'm gonna keep that one. This golden uh, felon, crappy car, really likes to flip over. It's fast, but it likes to flip over. But it has the TBK license plate, so I'm gonna keep that one. Grab this rat truck, or rat rat, whatever rat thing it is. Specifically yellow. That's this is out the street. That's a a rare car you can grab off the street. I'm going to keep that one. My Stanier. I don't know. I could get rid of the Stanier if I really had to. But this is, again, one of my first cars. I decided initially my my livery was going to be colored pearlescence over black for everything. Black Knight, you know. i got to come up with a theme. Grab this Ruiner just as it is. I'm going to keep that Ruiner just as it is. A Weasel News. I could get. I could always grab another Weasel News, but I grab this Weasel News. I might as well just... Keep the weasel news. Futo, again, this Futo had some story to it, but it is just a Futo. It's just a gray Futo. It, again, it had some legendary story where I barely, I stole it and escaped some certain death. So if I could keep it, I will. My Sultan, obviously, one of the best four-door, one of the only four-door sports cards, right? That's it. Now there's more now, but back in the day there was, and this was this is a, a fast four-door to get around with. I've had it forever. Likely gonna keep that. My original free Christmas clique. How can I get rid of the Christmas clique? You got one spot in here. I guess, I guess yeah, I guess there's not much to get rid of in here either. But this is all all sentimental favorites. And pretty much all this, yeah, all this is none of this is coming off. Really, truly speaking, I you know, I mean, this is my homage to Death Friend 2 here in the back, the, the orange Dodge. That's one of my first cars ever, the Sentinel convertible. We could probably, you know, we could probably cut the video sh short here, because I don't think there's anything else in any of my other garages that I'm going to get rid of. I could think about getting rid of some of the, the free race car variants if I really had to, because I could get those back quickly enough. They're down in the... Um, in my arena workshop. That's a thought, although I do kind of like them, you know, I don't know. But anyway, I thought I'd share this with you. Like, you know, these are the kind of the trials and tribulations when there's a lot of good deals on cars available. I mean, you know, you could call me crazy. But for as slow as these Patriots are, I mean, they're all collectible rarities at this point. You can't get uh, you can't, you can't, once you take a, a Patriot into the mod shop, you lose this front bumper. 
This car, the custom paint job with the side pipes and the lights, impossible now. You can't, you can't make that car happen. You will never see another Patriot come out of a mod shop like that again because it strips everything off and it gives you the flat, kind of ugly LED light bar. That's the only light bar you can have now. And then you have, this one's completely just stripped down in, in case they fix the glitch. Here's one that's completely stripped so that this might become a rare car at some point. And then, of course, we have one just modded up properly as you can nowadays. Um, and I do like it. I do like all of them. And they're not drivable very much. They're very slow. They're good off-road. Uh, obviously, I can't, you know, I can't get rid of this puppy. This is one of the only cars you can drive if you're doing SUV stuff. Oh, this is my Sand King XL with the back on. This is not my other car. No. But still, this is my Sand King that I used to, to, to seed my Sand King hunt. So we're going to... I have that exactly as... A, what the hell is the name of it? I, I don't like that. What's the name of that other... 4x4x... Four by four by. Come on. Contender. Yeah, it's, I thought it was my Contender. I'm not getting rid of my Contender either. I have that someplace. Not getting rid of my Macho Camacho here. We're not getting rid of that. I still, haven't, I still haven't fixed this one up. I've barely driven it. This was a this was one of the most difficult ones to get. That's an actual Meriwether Mesa that was captured from uh, from mercenaries sent to kill me. That was that was a whole story there. That came in with hardly any wheels on it and stuff like no tires. Not getting rid of these. Not getting rid of my my off road racers. Even though the only thing you can really race off road is a motorcycle. Not getting rid of another Duke of Death. I still love the paint job on this. It's a, it's a funky kind of deal. Because you have to have a Duke of Death every so often just so you can do things. I mean, there might be some bland stuff up up north. <coughs> I don't have a pistol on I don't know. But I mean, I think I still gonna want my Picador and my BJXL and my, Re my Rebel Sand King. All my... I've got another doom buggy. Of the doom buggy that used to get the 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 strips doom buggy is up there. So those are sentimental favorites. And all my stuff down in the arena. That's that's all pretty much spoken for. The only thing that's down there that might be you know, that I might be able to get rid of if I'm really pressed for space. Was again the the free race cars. And I can show those to you here. They're, you can't change the paint on them anyway. That's if you go down. We'll save ourselves a drive. Well, where's the freebies? I have a, you know, obviously I have a good Pisswasser down there that I've modified and I use that for racing. My my Redwood Gauntlet and my Buffalo, maybe I could get rid of those two. Maybe I could get rid of the Burger Shots down because these aren't competitive. That's competitive. But these aren't competitive. But, I mean, you know, what if the sale goes away? Then you can't get them. And I, I, I like the way they look, so I'm going to probably keep those. And everything else that's down there, I mean, you know, is all either arena vehicles or, or the latest race cars. So you're looking at, that's about all I can do. I could probably get another six or seven spaces to go along with the few spaces that I have. And uh, then I'm going to have to work with that. And then, you know, at some point... You know, things are going to get really... You're going to have to start making difficult decisions. You know, what happens when you win a car and you like all the cars you have? Can we get another garage, Rockstar? I know you just gave us the one in the casino. But why only one in the casino? Why not? Why not three? It's an expensive property. Why not five? Why not ten? Why not an unlimited amount of garages? All right, that's probably a lot to ask for. But... There you go. I figure I'd, I'd get this little video out, let you know the quandary that I'm in. Uh, the other quandary that I'm in is I'm pretty much broke because the Chernobog and all that. And of course, I, I am supposed to get 1.6 million back in a rebate. Don't know how long it takes to get the rebate because I did get uh, the the Lago Zancudo with trip with my Twitch Prime membership for Rusty Jack. I'm gonna probably do the same thing on this character. I'm going to probably finally move because my facility is all the way up here. And you know what? I kind of liked it. And my original plan was to do a lot more stuff up here. But I have since moved my um, moved my MC businesses further south. And the only thing that's going to be up here is my apartment. Because I, I think you need some, some place up on this side of the map just in case you need to 
have a place to ha to get away from everything else. It's my home away from home. I think we'll move this down somewhere in here. But that's the only other thing I can announce. And that note, ladies and gentlemen, I got not much else to report. Just me and my my lucky. Why does this gun keep coming out? Me and my lucky swinger. The one that I won off the podium. I'm gonna try and win one for Rusty. But on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is what which cars which cars do you think should be the priority to get rid of, and which cars do you think I should be looking at getting? If there's something I'm missing out on, comment in the description below. But until until next time, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll bring it to you. Ah, oh, yes. I'm that sentimental about these things. I think I'm just going to record them all put them all in the darn video. Why? Why not, right? Some of them will have voice. Look at this thing. I hate to get rid of it. But the one is probably adequate. What's up on my frame rate? Well, I am doing some things. I am, whoop, as I'm doing this, I am uploading a video. So that, that's a thing. That could very well be a thing that's a problem. Wow. This. I'm having trouble driving. But I don't normally have that much trouble uploading. Look at this. I can't steer. What? No. This is as bad. Let me, let me stop something. Nah, you know, I'll bet there's a modern house because I, I don't normally have this much trouble. And it's just happening randomly. It's going smooth and it's not smooth and... There's this. What brings you in today?
And I do need the money. That is a thing. Eventually. Vehicle so uh, 15 frames per second. Wow. I'm going to move my revolter out of the... Uh, I don't know why I have a revolter down there anyway, in the, in the workshop, the arena workshop. Which one is it? There it is. Is it doing something with it? Wow, this frame rate. Well, I'll move that. <laughs> it's got run over. If it wasn't for the slow rate, frame rate, I wasn't looking. I would have just been run over there. And this is probably going to be... I still... Now, why is it that now my frame rate's pretty much back kind of that's just weird I get run over by some rando he just wants to hurt people well I can barely move now it's like oh well, here we go now it's now it's dropped off again I don't understand oh great here we go Uh, uh. Yeah, things are not running well. They're they're just not right now. We're gonna next car probably be. Oh, here we go. We finally got out. There we are. It's, now it's fine. I was gonna move this one down to the workshop because it's completely unmodded. Um, but I'm thinking for the time being. Yeah, I kind of need to do that. That's how we're going to play this. I don't think I'm going to record it because it's not recording well right now with whatever's going on in the session and the video I'm uploading. We'll move this one down, move another one back up, move another car to be modified down. You know, keep that rolling for a little bit. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Ah, Clarkson Spiker. I think that was supposed to be a rental in the in the show anyway. But I, I remember getting the we the wheels really close on that. That was a that was a good thing. I like this car, but again, it's just a dominator. Would be more make would it, would it make more sense to recreate this using a GTX? Uh, I don't know. GTX wouldn't have the thing that a Spiker is a 700 horsepower mad dog kind of a car. Whereas this, I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying it's not sophisticated. I'm just saying that it's you know ridiculously overpowered. Spiker would probably say it's just right. But this Dominator, not so much. It's just got the look. So we're gonna, we're gonna see. Did I come back too soon? Or kind of liquidate this? What miracle Liquidation? did you want me to perform? That's what I wanted to do. Liquidate. Because I need space. Liquidate. I, I built this car. lost this car. Built this car again. Now I'm selling it off. Sell so vehicle 77k. Well, more than I would have thought. It's from all the upgrades. We need ourselves built back up a little bit. While we're here, let's undo some of that. Let's get this over with. This will be part of this video. Snuck in there. 800 grand down. I now have a Chernobog. And now we'll, we'll at least have gotten that weekly sale then. You know, let's move some things around here. So that it be, we benefit from the fact... You know, we know what cars we're going to move out. So let's put those all on the first floor. So that with the Dominator. Ooh, you know what? Actually, would make sense. Let's uh, put the Reaper, which is another Lambo. I'm not sure which Lambo. Let's swap that. Let's put this on the same floor. Swap that. Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. Pop those. We've got the two progens next to each other. Then, let's move this downstairs. 
Yeah, let's put swap out the Turismo. Then bump everything over. Let's do that. Put that down there for no reason. Then we need to get this up here. Rotate. I did wrong. That's, that's not the thing. Nope, the thing. Another thing in the thing with the. I want them in that same order, but now at least the Turismos are next to each other. And the cars we're going to get rid of are right here and possibly here. I don't know, I just like that car. I just like the greenness of it, even though it's probably something I should unload. Anything else we need to unload? you have two Warners? No, this is one Warner. Possibly the buggies, but we're I'm still thinking about that. Still thinking about that. Is it all ironic that as I'm selling off these these initial, you know, opening episode of the Grand Tour cars? Come with me now by Congos is playing on uh, on YouTube on my television. Just happened to come up in the the order of rotation, and no, no one really knows that I'm recording right now. I'm just I'm just always. A lot of times when there's there's episodes right, I don't have any sound going. Yeah, dinner's being made. Kids to play. But I had to, I had to mention that Congo just came up while I was loading in to sell this car. It was just too wild. It's just Richard's Mustang. At least just trying to see what was going up next. Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. I should probably mute this before it actually gets picked up. And, today okay this is an interesting thing it seems like Clarkson's car I got the most money back for then Maze, and now this is the cheapest one from Hammond. It got the cheap. It had the cheapest uh, upgrades on it. That's funny. Gotta get rid of the simple car. It's too simple, even though it's kind of pleasant to drive. It's only worth eight grand, but it's gone. So of the buggies, I decided to to sell off the James May red buggy. Which was probably one of my most accurate of the three buggies, you know, depicting the ones from the Grand Tour. But, you know, as I recall, that buggy didn't have a happy ending anyway. And this buggy, to make it as accurate as possible, doesn't have all the performance upgrades that it would need to be competitive. Not that anything but a bike is competitive in a buggy race anyway. But if you want to have a Bifta, don't you want to have a maxed out Bifta? And this, this is not a maxed out Bifta. This is a, it's, it's an attractive Bifta. For you. You, can, you can buy my Bifta. He's got the white walls. It's got the gray. It's got the red. I mean, it's not, it's not a perfect rendition of James May's, uh, you know, Manx uh, buggy. But it was certainly, you know, a good representation. And we've got that now. Lucky now here we go. Us for you. Getting rid of the Richard Hammond buggy, which was not even close because he had modified his so much. It does have like the off-road wheels, but in the right colors. But his was like completely different. It didn't really even look like a buggy. So that's why this went. Which leaves the Clarkson as the one I'm going to keep. This is going to be the one that, you know, is going to stay. It's, I realized that the wing, if it was really going to be proper, should be on the hood because of that episode of the Grand Tour. But I don't really have that as an option here. That's not something that we can do. This is as close as I can make it. I got the colors right. I might brighten up the green a little bit. We could try that now. Let's see if we can get a, a more neon green on this. 
That would be inexpensive enough. But I'm thinking... What the heck? Whoa! What brings you in today? Apparently something existential and strange. Man, the game's been a little bit funny as a way. Repair vehicle. What if we go to respray? The purple's okay, I think. But if we go to the secondary color and go to classic, I think I can get... Well, that's bright green already. It is a classic. I went with a classic on this. So that might be the brightest green I could go with. We do have dew yellow. A lime green. I think the lime green was what I was hoping was unlocked. It's still locked here. Is it... There's one that I have lime green unlocked on, I thought. How many more stunt jumps do I need? Three more stump jumps. Would that even, though, for this car... I don't know that the lime would match. I'll have to go back and watch. I think at this point, that might be closer to what he had painted on there. I'll have to go back and watch it. Alright, well, hey. At least it's fixed. We're keeping that one. This will be my Bifta. If I ever end up in a Bifta race here somewhere on the line. What? Frame rates. Frame rates. Okay, let's... Well, that was unpleasant. Still, un still pretty low. Ah, it's still unpleasant. I don't know why it's not... Why I'm having trouble recording here. I don't have a ton of... hard drive space, but I have enough. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get off the road. There's been a lot of trouble with modders as of late. I, I couldn't hardly get on last night. Let's, let's get off the street. Maybe that'll put me in a different place where it's not a problem. <sighs> Alright, yeah, back to 60. Okay. So I walk out of the street and now it's like suddenly I'm fine. That's just great. Ah, well. On that note, so there you have it. There's the last, you know, not the, probably not the last of me selling stuff off. But it's a little bit of the last of me selling stuff off. I'm not sure I can bring, I don't think I, can, I don't know if I can find it in my heart to sell off either of my um, my peyotes. I love those those two Thunderbirds, the green one and the pink one. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll have to figure out again how many spaces I have and if it's good enough. On that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. This is the, wait, this is the bonus material. Isn't this the bonus? I've already said that. I already said that. Alright. <laughs> have a good one.